Hello everybody, it's Andrew, welcome back to the channel. It's that time of month, everybody's favourite video or second favourite video, depending on whether you prefer the hauls. This is going to be my completed colouring pages for the month of October. And although I was ill, I still managed to complete 23 pictures. So let's have a look at them. So we did a lot of Halloween stuff, I'm not going to lie. Because <laughs> this Halloween, we also did a lot of patterns and other things. Um, so... I got one here in the Halloween book for kids ages two to five and I did this one. Jennifer did it as well. Um, so me and Jennifer have been colouring a lot together lately because she does love her colouring and she always wants to use mummy's markers. So these were done, the background was done with a sharpie, the stars and the writing were done with um, the, the Aeon Art uh, gel pens and the pumpkins were done with the thin uh, Amazon pens and Jennifer used those as well so I let her use them I don't know whether that's a good idea well she didn't get it all over herself the wall and she was fine with them so that's good so I really enjoyed that it's just a nice simple one uh, I did I think it was two yeah two in uh, Halloween oh, I'll find somewhere to put these now always a problem There's never enough space uh, 50 Halloween mandalas by uh, Sachi and Sachi Deva and I, I did two and I do them in order because I like doing them in order so I haven't done that page I will and I haven't done that page at some point I probably will okay so this is one of his new ones so I did this one now this was really hard because it was very hard to see some of the smaller areas so like her eyes and on some of the the leaves and some of the really small bits of that oh um, what am I looking at but I managed it and that's the main thing. And I really like it, I think she's really pretty. And this was done with, I'm gonna say, potentially Ohuhu's. <laughs> and I did the second one as well. And this one I think was done with the Everblends or a mixture of Ohuhu and Everblends because I'm just using whatever I've got handy at the moment. So that's the second one I did. No glitter, just pure bliss of colouring. <laughs> they sound silly. I know, I'm in a funny mood. Still not feeling very well, so. Um, yeah. I did a buddy colour. Well, I did two buddy colours, actually, with this person, and it's with uh, Molly Newland. And we did uh, one in A Million Unicorns, which is this side of the page. And I did this with, I think... It was Black Widows and just various gel pens I had lying around. And it was fun. It was, it was a nice little buddy colour. You yeah, see the, the unicorns were sparkly. I like a sparkly unicorn. That's a, a different colour. That one might have been from the... I have no idea. They have got so many gel pens these days and most of the time they're all just mixed up. There. I did one from... Uh, frightfully cute, the Ava Brown book, and I did this one with the Oh Who Who markers. All my skin tones, funnily enough, are running out. I'm gonna have to be doing different skin colours, I think. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice, it was fun, and, and I just sat and did it, and I enjoyed doing it. So I did two PDFs this month, and that was one of them. I'll put that separate because oh, I'll put that on top of the books that have got to be filed. I did two in Jade Summer's Mandalas for Beginners. This is one of my lovely pattern books. I love my pattern books, as well, you know. Um, oops, and I used the Scribblicious from the Works uh, pens. I, I didn't do a background. I thought quite, quite nice as it was. And this was done using the, the Metallics. I was going to do the background, but I thought, nah. I think I quite like it the way it is. And this one was done also using uh, Scribblicious from works but this is like the neon or yeah neon colours this purple is beautiful these purples are gorgeous <coughs> and again it, it didn't take that long it was just a, a, a quick one I was lying in bed feeling rotten I just, I just need to scribble so I did that one I did I think I missed a bit did I miss a bit no it's just very bright that's fine um, I did one in the Kawaii Witch colouring book. This is the book that I got and then Jen stole. And she scribbled on the first picture, which was annoying. And I got very upset and then I went and ordered another copy and said, so you can keep that one. And I did this one, which hasn't even got a witch in it, but there you go. 
and so it's just cold and this is all done with various glitter gel pens um we got uh a and art ones are in there um some random ones that were in left over in a pencil sorry let me just zoom out slightly in a pencil case and of course the uh link shines i always use link shines yeah enjoyed that that was fun sometimes you just want to use glitter i did a picture in the care bears current heaven collection with a buddy colour with molly newland we did the very first page which is the actual picture of the care bears with their logo this was done with oh hoo hoo markers um and various gel pens i think i'm trying to think which was the gold was probably link shine and this gray was from the Chromatech and in fact I've used up all that grey now I need to get another one and there's also a little bit of um, Wink Costello on their bellies and noses and things so that was really fun that didn't take too long either I really enjoyed it I love the Care Bears I'm looking forward to do more in that book another colour in heaven is the Halloween special I completed one in here and I'm doing another one and I did the Halloween Princess which is Hannah Lynn so even though I've already got Halloween Hannah Lynn book I did this one because I could always do it in a different colour next time um, and this was done with the Windsor and Newton Pro Markers and oh who who's I think for the sweets I'll just take that first that was nice that took a while because I did the big bits and then it was just the little things and I didn't want to do them but obviously I did so that was that one and I do like it I have got a whip in there, so I'll be keeping that out to try and finish it. Oh, I've got a piece of paper here. I did. I got one. For, I actually did one from Relax with like Halloween. Yay! This was a quick one, mind. And again, I did the big bit and then left the little bits for ages because I couldn't be bothered. I did this one. Now this picture actually appears in a full um, picture as well. So this is the portrait. She does appear again somewhere. there she appears again with a full background um but yeah so that was some of the uh oh who who's i think yes oh who who's i would have left it in if it had been out blend so i really enjoyed that that was really a really nice one i'm glad i did got managed to get one out of that book done because i've got loads of these and i never color in them i don't know why um i did two Two in stained glass Egyptian designs by such and such Deva. This is not going to last long. This book is not going to last long because I don't have anything to do with Egypt. When I finish doing them all, I'll colour in this bit and I'll colour in this bit as well. So you'll know I did that one last month. So I did this one, which is the Eye of Horus. <coughs> and I love it. And I'm going to keep this book out because I want to do more on that one this month. That reminds me, I've got to go and watch something. And I did the pyramid. And I just love it. I think they look so oh, looks so nice. Who's next? It's Gareth. I, I like I said, I like to do these in order. That's just the way I am. I just for some reason other books I just do them whatever page I feel like, but the colour by numbers and a lot of the pattern books, not all of them, a lot of them. I try and do them in order. I really like to do them in order and this is oh, this will be finished before long. Yeah, that is not gonna take long for me to do. Probably next year, sometime. I did one. Another one in Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. This is one of my favourite books. I've done a few in here. And, yeah, that's one I've done previously. I'm just trying to get to my oh, tag. I love these because they're really close-up pictures. Here she is. And I did this one. And this was the first one I did using the Pro Markers. And this was done as a test. I didn't give her any blush or anything like that. It was just literally a plain colour just to see how they laid down. And I really like it. I love the fact that she's got that little glass with a rose in it. It's kind of like Beauty and the Beast. It's kind of like Belle. But I did a blonde. But I do like it. And I love the way these pens lay down. And I will be getting more. And as they run out, I will replace them. And not all of them because I've got some duplicates, which is great. But I will replace them because I can get them open stock at Hobbycraft. 
I mean they're not cheap, they're £2.50 a marker but I can at least get them. Um, Jade Summer Easy Colouring, Easy, oh, easy Halloween Colouring Book. Shoot me now. I did this one, I did two in this one actually. So I did this one. And again this is one I was doing with Jennifer so we were colouring together and I was doing that one and that is just the that's from the Ohuhus. So this must be Ohuhus, I would say, looking at it. And this one was a mixture of Ohuhus and the thin ones from Amazon. Because I'm starting to run out of certain colours on both now. <coughs> and they haven't got them in anymore and I'm gutted. But I, I like that, yeah, I did two in that one. I like that one. Now we're on to... Uh, Prachi Duan Satch Davis Halloween colour by number and I did this one of the scarecrow pumpkin head scarecrow this would have been done with um oh hoo hoos you see that the greens are running out because I use those greens a lot so I will have to get some cheap markers when I get some money through I've got tons of markers so I'm trying not to I'm trying to use them up first but I have got an, I've got two sets of feather blend so I'm going to use one of those sets up on these as well I like that one, very pretty. Yeah, that's just, I just love that this month. Um, and I did one in the 50 Diamond Mandala colour by numbers by Sachin Sachdeva. And I did this one. And again, this was with, this was with the Amazon pens. Although I had to sub a Sharpie and a Shuttle Art for the peach. I don't think I needed the other one on. And then there's one where the peach is one of them and the other one was the lavender, but that's not on this one. Yeah, but yeah, I like this book. These are the sort of patterns I like doing and the fact they're colored by number just makes it just that little bit easier for me not to have to worry. Look, it looks like this desk is covered in dust. Well, it is covered in dust. I'll give it a good clean soon. Yeah, so again, that's another book I'll probably keep out and colour in because it's just so easy and I love it. Oh, my phone's thinking. We've got the big book of Halloween and Autumn, 100 pages by Molly Harrison. So this is like three or four of her books together. I think, yeah, four. Uh, Halloween Fantasy, Halloween and Autumn, Halloween from 2015 and Whimsical World from 2015. I only did one. I'm trying to do different ones. I did this one with her cute little cat and I have no idea what markers I used at all. I think it's a hoo hoos and there's some glitter gel pens in there as well. So, but yeah, I like that one. It didn't take that long and I really enjoy a little grey cat. I like this book. It's a nice book actually. I love Molly Harrison. Don't do enough of hers. I do do some of her, I've got some PDFs. Uh, another PDF, I'm going to have to start keeping these in my clip folder because the, they get bent, is this one. This is um, a Deborah Muller one um, and this is one of the freebies that I downloaded from her Facebook uh, group. Um, I do download them every now and again. If I've got some pages left at the end of the month um, from my instant ink, I print off a load and sometimes I colour them and sometimes I don't. I have a huge stack of them but they're there when I want to do something nice and simple and this took a morning. Um, yeah, it didn't take it took about three or four hours. I was doing something else at the same time, but it didn't. It didn't take long at all. I just sat there and just coloured. It was really nice. So I think I'm going to do PDFs when I feel like I want to colour, but not too much. Not too. You know, it's hard to explain. Anyway, that that one I'll put that under there. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to start keeping them in the box until the end of the month. Then I got one from the. I finished. Finally finished a whip. Oh, this is from the Sun and Moon Colouring. <coughs> book mandala book by uh, Camellia Angel Cova. I think I'm doing this in order. This has been a whip for several months. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm really, really happy that I finished it. It's taken me forever. I really like this book and I love doing it and I have done quite a few and I'm doing them in order. I've probably done about 10 or so, which to me in a book is a lot. But I really like this book and I've only ever used glitter gel pens in it. Mostly the Link Shines, but I do use some of the other ones as well when I've got them. I just love the way it looks in the glitter. So whereas with another pattern, I might not. Pattern book, I might use normal pens or markers or even pencils. Um, 
this one is all glitter and will be all glitter but I don't know when I'll get to do another one in that but I do like it Jade Summer Positive Quotes this is one of their newer books I've only done one in here and I, this is from Alexandra Frances and I did this one Live, Laugh and Colour because why not even though there's no EU in colour and I'm in the UK and we spell it with a U you know the proper way sorry but I do like it I think it's really cute and again it's all glitter chat then this has been a long video for me for colouring. It's because I'm out of breath and I'm. Uh, I do like this one. Like, write your story. I mean, I think it's great. I'm going to have to do some more in that one. I'm not usually one for ones with the, those sorts of things. And I did one in this Halloween colouring book by Ava Brown. This is a very simple, simple style one, but I did enjoy doing it when I find it. Of course, you've got two of everything. Uh, and I did. This one, now as you can see I didn't do a full background, I just did a bit. This was done using... I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm going to say, looking at it, it was done potentially using the Amazon markers, but I'm not 100% sure because I need to start writing them on bits of paper and leaving it in the book. Uh, but yeah, that is all the pages I coloured in the month of October, it was 23 and all. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me uh, a big thumbs up. Let me know what your favourite pictures. I think for me, I don't know. I'm going to go with the Deborah Muller Chubby Mermaid because I'm having trouble remembering the rest of them. That's how uh, poorly I feel. Um, so yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will see you again soon. Hopefully, as soon as I've shifted this um, with a colour and chat. Now I can finish the Hannah Lynn we were doing with the Pro Markers if you want. I've, there's not that much to do on it. Maybe a half an hour video. So I'll probably do that. And then I will be doing the Elvis from The Beauty of Horror Haunted Fame. Um, it is a two-sided spread, so I'm only going to do on camera the side that Elvis is on. And the other side I will do off camera, probably either first or during the whole colour thing. But I will be doing uh, both of those. And then obviously in December we'll do as much Christmas as we can. <sighs> I'm in my bed. I'm absolutely shattered. I hope you enjoyed it. I said that. I'll see you on the next video guys hopefully it won't be too much longer I may put up some flip throughs that I've pre-recorded uh, if I get a chance and I'll see you soon bye